Welcome to F260 week 25, Jeremiah 52, 2 Kings 24, 25, entitled The, Ca the Captivity. Highlight verses from 2 Kings 24, 10. At that time, the servants of Nebuchadnezzar, king of Babylon, came up against Jerusalem and the city was besieged. <clears throat> Explaining this, <clears throat> The Babylonians, after a series of attacks on Jerusalem, finally destroy it. <clears throat> the walls are torn down, much of its population mercilessly slaughtered, and the remainder taken captive into Babylon. The temple, which had been in existence for 420 years, was burned to the ground, and the remainder of its treasures carried off in 587 B.C., Applying this, uh, Jerusalem had abandoned God, and God now abandoned her. Such is the, is the divine judgment upon sin. God pleads long with man, but if man will not turn, then God wets his sword and becomes a terrible in his retribution. These tragic events are a powerful commentary upon Proverbs 14, 34. Righteousness exalteth a nation, but sin is a reproach to any people. In 458 BC, Babylon itself was conquered by the medio persian king Cyrus, who one year later allowed the Jewish captives to return to Jerusalem and to rebuild their city. This return, after 70 years of captivity, had been prophesied in Isaiah 44, 28 and Jeremiah 24, 11. Cyrus is interested in religion and tolerant of all faiths, just as Nebuchadnezzar was God's instrument uh, <clears throat> for, for punishing his people, so Cyrus is his means of restoring them. His first action is to decree that a temple shall be built in Jerusalem. Anyone who wishes to return home uh, to help its work may do so. Jeremiah the prophet gives some wonderful promises for Judah's uh, and Israel's future. The houses of Jerusalem and the palaces of her king, so brutally destroyed by the, by the Babylonians, are to be restored. God will give healing and forgiveness, prosperity and joy to Jerusalem. Normal life will, will be resumed in the towns of Judah. Weddings and harvests will be celebrated. Uh, God promises that one day he will unite the kingdoms of Israel and Judah under one king. Th this king will be a strong and healthy branch from David's family tree. Like David, his reign will be just and righteous, and his people will, will be secure. There will always be a king descended from David, culminating, of course, with the millennial reign of Jesus Christ after his second coming. Much of this information on the captivity and restoration of Judah has been excerpted from articles contained uh, in Andrew Knoll's Bible Guide and Erdman's Bible Dictionary. My response to all this, the Hebrews at first haunted by the thought that their uprooted existence was caused by God's punishment for their past unbelief, gradually recognized that they could still turn to God by obeying his ancient law from the New Testament perspective. God's people were compelled to adapt to a more cosmopolitan lifestyle, which eventually would enable the gospel to be preached worldwide. Amen. God bless.